Okay, so hopefully I can explain this good on how to install the skin on the Quest 3. First, you want to clean your Quest 3 with isopropyl alcohol and a cloth. Just want to wipe it down, mainly getting off the oils from your skin and any dirt contaminants that are on it. that dries, maybe give it a blow, get any little bit of a lint or something that's on there. You're going to need a, either a heat gun or a blow dryer for installation. If you don't have any of those, you're probably going to need them, otherwise this probably won't work. Alright, so here's our skin kit. Let's start off with the main front piece. Peel it away. Do it nice and carefully. Now this is the same vinyl they use on car wraps. So try to do this so you guys can see it without screwing it up. It's gonna be tough. I have to do it at a weird angle to show you guys. And you can pick this graphic up and move it if it's not in the right spot, but just lightly push down. Now up here, this isn't going to go down nicely, you'll have wrinkles. So this is where you take some heat, not too much, just a little bit, and it starts to form a little bit. And then you take your finger, boom, done. Alright, so I have that piece. Now let's start the upper piece for the front. This will be a little tricky. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not getting my crazy hair in the way. Now I have some notches right here. You can line up this notch with the notch on the front graphic you just put on. Once you line that up, this vinyl has a little bit of stretch. You can, so you can kind of push it up a little bit. So it starts installing right along the edge there. Same with this. Lift it up, just make it so it starts going right along the edge. All right, take some more heat. Boom. That's done. Alright, let's work with one of the other bottom corner pieces. Actually, the whole bottom piece. Forgot I made it all one piece now. Flip it around. this, you can kind of work it a little bit. I want it to kind of go up more along the top. Now since See this side doesn't line up. So what I'll do is pick this side up right here and install it a little more over. Kind of just forcing it a little bit over there. So it's more level. Add some heat. Wrinkles start going away. If you ever watch guys wrap cars, this is very similar. This side, I could improve it a little bit. I'll make it a little bit more uh, lined up. There we 
we go. Eat it. So the front is done. Now, let's do the bottom. As you're peeling the graphic off, you want to make sure all the decals come off and you don't get one that's stuck. Alright, flip this one over. There's a little notch on this, matched up to the notch on there. Much trickier. Now you can glide this. You can kind of don't don't pull too hard. Just a little bit. Barely press down with your finger. Just getting this center part done. All you want to do is get this center part. Now go to this side. Same thing. You want to get the center. At this point in time, you're probably like, oh, this looks like crap. Don't worry. And this isn't a perfect science. Sometimes you will get a wrinkle that doesn't come out. You shouldn't get too bad of wrinkles though. There should be really tiny if you do get one. I'll add more heat to that after I do this other side. This side's gonna be a little bit tougher. But all the heat. This heat is basically shrinking it and helping it form. So the plastic. Because this vinyl has little air bubbles in it. That when you press down on them with your thumb. Getting those air bubbles out. All right, got that one done. I'll have little ones that pop up. In the next couple of days, you might have little ones that pop up. Reheat them, and then eventually they should go away. All right, let's do the top piece. Match it up. This little piece here. That little notch, I matched this notch up with that notch. See, it wasn't lined up enough, so I just lift it up, kind of guide it with my thumb, line it to where I want it to be. And again, we got to use heat. So now that you're done with the headset, you want to do what's called post heating. You want to heat this up. You want to look for any rising sides, any little bubbles. This is now forming this graphic so it stays on this for years to come. If you have a really cold house, it could start lifting up from a cold house. I've seen it happen. Actually, my garage here is cold, and uh, sometimes graphics might lift up a little bit, but that is that done. Now let's work with the controllers. Okay, working with the controllers. Same thing. You want to get all the grease and chemicals off, especially the controllers, because your hands have been touching it. Even if you have a brand new set, still do this. Isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, that's dry. 
It's nice to have a battery in here so you can see where it lights up. This will help you install the controller. I know this is the left, this is the left hand. So I want to start with the left hand controller. Now see how this graphic stuck to it? I want to take that off. And this one's stuck. Take it off. And this one's stuck. Pop it out. Now there's different ways you can hold this. Whatever you think is more comfortable. Oh, one little hole snuck. The tiny one for the LED light was still there. So I know that goes where the LED light goes. So if I get the LED light going, this kind of tells me where I gotta go. You don't get much time for the LED light, but don't worry about it. Once you get it to where you like it, check it one more time. LED light's right in the center. Kind of just lightly press down, barely at all. Now I've been playing my Quest 3 for a while without these notches taken out and it's been working fine but I still did the notches. I don't want no problems to happen later on down the road for everybody. But somehow with the vinyl over it, it still works. Heat up nice. It's gonna form all around this stuff. Alright, controller one done. Two. When you pull this off, you just want to make sure you're doing it real nice and gentle. Looks like the tiny little LED light one didn't come out. There we go. Alright, now this one, my battery's dead. So I'm just going to be installing it, matching up with the buttons. As center as I can, as straight as I can. go. That'll for sure be good.